what content can be fed to them in ways that are just subtle enough to achieve an objective by tipping someone off, just pushing them off the precipice of something that you've been looking at. If someone was able to do that, that would be a catastrophic weapon. This episode is made possible by OIT VoIP. Find your best-in-class revenue generation for MSPs all over the world. Learn more via the link in the show notes. Good morning, and welcome to the September 20th episode of MSP Dispatch, your source for news, community events, and commentary in the MSP channel. My name is Tony Francisco, and as always, my amazing host, Ray Orsini. Ray, how are you doing, brother? I'm good. I feel like every time you lead me up, which if anybody doesn't know, Tony Francisco is the best hype man you could ever have. We all need a little bit of hype people in our life. We need those supporters. You know what else we need, Tony? I think we need some news. You're right. Let's get into it. Let's do it. TikTok has started its appeal on Monday against a law that's going to require it to sell itself or face a U.S. ban within nine months. Signed by President Biden in April, the law addresses concerns about U.S. user data being misused by the Chinese government. In response, TikTok and ByteDance deny any links to the Chinese authorities and argue that the law infringes on free speech. Meanwhile, the Department of Justice raises issues about data security and propaganda during the appeal. Despite the law's support from the Constitution, experts believe the case could eventually reach the Supreme Court. I, I'm just going to be blunt on this. I'm really struggling. There may be some influence that if you're willing to prove uh, that says that Americans are getting more of fun, uh, brain numbing uh, content and uh, the Asian community, the Chinese community specifically, is getting science and 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 historical educational component uh, content delivered to their children, um, which of course has an, an eroding effect. Hmm. That's the U.S. citizen side of me. Yeah. The security side of me <laughs> says, hold on, you now have an application installed on every on so many phones, mobile devices, um, that is able to not just pull data that's being consumed, but also a lot of man in the middle attacks happening on the device itself. If they can find a mechanism to correlate all of this data and then start mental mind mapping the processes, the work pattern, the work ethic, what is the probability of decisions being made, what content can be fed to them in ways that are just subtle enough to achieve an objective by tipping someone off, just pushing them off the precipice of something that you've been looking at. If someone was able to do that, that would be a catastrophic weapon. My whole thing is that it seems disingenuous. TikTok, which no question, it absolutely sends data out to other servers. Zero question. Also, the reason I say disingenuous is how many hundreds of thousands or millions of apps are on Play or apps or iPhone App Store where they don't check that. Yes, TikTok can inform audiences, but I believe we mentioned it in the first time we discussed this when this first started. So can Facebook. So can Instagram. So can Twitter or X or whatever Elon wants to call it this week. How is that any different? Oh, because they're American. I remember the icing on the cake is the government is saying we have information that leads us to believe this drastic action is needed because it's so severe, but also we can't share it with you because it's secret. You're going to do something for a very blatant public uh, reason. You're going to do something that you've made up to achieve an agenda. And then you're going to start the doing something and hopefully they're trusting you in ways that you don't have to provide factual, statistical, you know, relevant information that clearly gives up the tact of tactics of how you acquired said data. And right now we're in, we're in option number three. But I really, really, really would hate if they used my like social posts to train some kind of AI. And yes, in my next story, Meta, to start using public posts on Facebook, Instagram, in the UK to train AI. Story from Reuters.com from Deborah Sophia. Meta platforms will soon resume using public content from Facebook and Instagram in the UK to train its AI models following a regulatory pause. The company will incorporate public posts, including photos, captions, and comments, but will exclude private messages and information from users under 18. This decision comes after Meta halted its AI training in Europe in mid-June following advice from the Irish Privacy Regulator and requests from the UK's Information Commissioner's Office, the ICO. 
Meta has since addressed regulatory feedback by simplifying the process for users to object to data usage and extending the objection period. And despite previous criticism from privacy groups, Meta aims to advance its AI projects in the UK. Rip the bandaid off real quick. Are you cool with them training their AI on the stuff that you and I put on Facebook? No. I feel like there are so many things that could go wrong with this. And what I'm trying to figure out is what is the alternative? The rumors have it that uh, ChatGPT 5 has finished training about 60 days ago, and that was released in uh, or was completed in March of last year. Trained on what? Who trained it? If you were on the board of, uh, of OpenAI, what would you like the public? How would you take in the public's data? What data would you use that you would deem acceptable? Everybody's thinking, um, what is the right way of doing it? What's the right way of training? Um, I'm thinking, in this case, what is the public perception on the right way? So let's figure out what the right way is, and then let's come up with a gradient, a list of, of right ways and not so right ways. And the rightest way is probably the worst looking way to the public. This new version, according to Sam Altman, is A, more dependable, which obviously, but B, aim to improve its current functionality, including reasoning. If somebody wanted to continue the conversation after the show, how could they do it, Tony? I think we have a Discord server. Uh, the Discord, Discord. I think Discord would work. Uh, and you can see all of our other shows there too. But until then, everybody, I can't wait to see you online around the communities. Until next time, take care of yourselves and each other. Stay safe and uh, educated, everyone. If you like this content, please click like and subscribe.